now are headed to our little local cars and coffee here and I decided to break out the 63 because I feel like this is the perfect cars and coffee car. She's doing great, had to warm her up for a little bit, but you know, you can't complain when you're talking about a 58 year old car and it's 40 degrees outside, totally normal. Let's get on her here for a little acceleration and go. so freaking cool and it's an honor that I get to drive it today in 2020 it really is this is a pretty tiny cars and coffee I'm not expecting anything wild but it's still nice to get out you know and, and talk to people and and see stuff you don't get to see every day here's one that looks pretty familiar the C6Z coming in driven by Matt Beaver uh, not quiet not quiet sounds really good making an entrance gonna park next to the 63 oh my god that's a gnarly looking car guys you can win that car right there 900 horsepower c6 zr1 all you have to do is go to inchandesigns.com where every five bucks you spend gets you an automatic entry <laughs> to make that your next daily driver don't miss out the neighbors. <laughs> dude, it's, it's so loud what's up dude it is so unbelievably loud do you like it do you like driving i love it, it. my neighbors hate it <laughs> I'm Started. sure mine do too. Rich loves it, but I don't know about the other ones. 63 out today. I know. I She's like doing it. great. What do you think? Looks good in this uh, nice morning light. How about it? This is the cars and coffee car. Beautiful low wing ZR1 over here in a color you don't see that often. I forget the exact color, but it's a kind of a gray silver, but very cool, like very stealthy. Might be lowered in the front but that's pretty freaking sweet. ZR1, 63, and then the C6 ZR1. That's a pretty cool lineup, boys. Beautiful day, love to come out, love to see some cars, and it's always a great time. Tony's STI makes about 800 horsepower. That's a crazy high horsepower STI next to a, uh, an enormous blower charger looking like straight out of Fast and the Furious. That's a buddy of mine who lives pretty close to me. Um, his friend in the Camaro, got some old school Chevys here. We have a beautiful, Termi for sale. Turbo car, I guess. I don't know anything about it, but for sale right there. Twin kit on this bad boy. Look at that. That is beautiful. I bet it runs pretty quick. It looks like it's, I mean, it looks to be a full on race car. You never know what your neighbors have until they bring them out to something like this. And it's really cool to see the variety. Beautiful new R8 right there. Pretty cool color on this Camaro convertible. Great turnout and a French Bulldog. Love that. It was an ad on Instagram, which I never buy from ads, but I was like, that is so cute, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, it's the baby Grinch. I'm horrified as to what I got. But that's what she ordered. <laughs> this is what she got. <laughs> it's like a rubber chicken thing. <laughs> that doesn't look at you, that's not even the same thing. I am so mad. Well, since we're inside, I can show you guys all the new shirts that we have for this C6 ZR1 giveaway. And we did go, we went a little bit wild. We have quite a bit for you. And all of this counts now for 20 times entries for Black Friday through Cyber Monday. So right now, so when this upload comes out, it's gonna be like 10 p.m. Eastern time. At midnight, we go live with 20 times entries through the weekend for you. So if you have been waiting to enter, this is the time right here this weekend. Huge sale for again, Black Friday through Cyber Monday. This is not even all of the new stuff, not even all of it. This is like half of it. But we got the joggers here, the 717 joggers, got the shift pattern flag shirt, SS 717 design. We have winter hats now, if you live in the North like me, sadly. In Shane Designs, the distorted vet shirt, one of my new favorites for sure. I love that, really, really cool. In Shane Designs with the 717 on the bottom, we have have uh, ISD logo with the tire marks, Street Speed 717 there, Corvette Generation in blue. That's the best. It's gonna be good. Hey, <laughs> hey what's up? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Beautiful. Everything you see here counts and it all gets you entries to win that epic, epic 900 horsepower C6 ZR1. And normally every five bucks spent gets you one entry, now it gets you 20. So a t-shirt, one of the new shirts for 25 bucks would get you 100 entries to win. Don't miss out. Check out the website, inshadesigns.com, link down below and up on the screen.
Good luck, guys. This is the time to enter Black Friday through Cyber Monday. Check it out. I shouldn't show you the truck yet, but whatever. That car right there, 900 horsepower, C6 ZR1. My favorite giveaway to date because it's a build I did for me. Like this is the, the way I would build and the way I did build a C6 if I was going to own one long term. And it's a pretty freaking epic machine. All you have to do is go to the website, get something cool, something you would like anyway, maybe, and that could be your new daily driver. Also, in case you somehow didn't see it on my walk out here, the C8 Corvette is back and it won't be back for a long time. The sale is still happening with the car, but it is nice to see it again. And it's now 100% stock. So the twin turbos are off of it. Um, everything I'll show you in a second, but everything's back to stock and uh, we're gonna sell it. But GM, I think you need to offer a bright green for the C8, or at least for the Z06 variant here in about a year and a half. But I, I feel like, Green just looks really, really fitting on that car. What do you guys think? And go. Woo! <laughs> still quick without the turbo, still quick. God. And floor it. <laughs> Woo! Hit the gas a little early and it's just a great time. but you can see I'm driving the speed limit clearly, normally. Uh, it's doing very well, no issues there. Again, speed limit is important, that's kilometers, I think. Um, so yeah, but it's, it's weird to not hear the turbos and I don't see them back there anymore. It's kind of a bummer, but also, you know, the car is nice stock and it's not, it, we weren't running like a, a huge amount of power anyway, so it's not really that big of a performance difference, but I do miss the way those turbos sounded. It was like, one of the most unique sounding cars ever. I mean, how often do you get to have one where the turbos are right behind your head and you can even see them? Not often. But the car is running great. Again, big thank you to LMR. If you have a C8 Corvette, any Corvette, any late model GM, or even Mustangs now, they're getting into Mustangs. Check them out, LMR in Texas. Leave a comment, should I keep the C8 on the channel or not? I feel like I should let it go. The Z06 is coming out. I'm getting that, you know, in about a year. I would I would assume somewhere in that time frame. I am in the market for a new Lamborghini that I really want. Another one that I've always wanted. And this Lambo will not be a giveaway. It's going to be a keeper car. So I could, and I'm getting a big piece of land, which I haven't even, you know, I've talked about that a little bit here and there, but I haven't really gotten into it fully with you guys because the deal isn't done yet, but I think it is going to actually happen. So I could use the cash. I could use the cash right now. And I feel like I could use the cash more than I can make the content, which I still have to, uh, to think about. You know, I always got to think about, is the car going to make me money? Because this is my job and this is how I, I make, I can't afford to just keep cars around because I like them unless it's the 63, but I have to like, I have to think about, does it make financial sense? So I don't know, but I really do like this car. If you're in the market for a C8 and you factor in, you can get a mid engine sports car that really is, it's a baby supercar. It's, it gives you everything that a supercar gives you minus a little bit of speed. Other than that, it's 100% and it's like, one fourth of the price. It's ridiculous. All right, here we are calling the winner here momentarily. Always the best part of the giveaway is uh, calling, you know, giving the call, giving the car, giving the car, not giving the car away yet. Making the call though. Making the call. Always the best, most fun part is hearing the reaction of someone who is about to learn that, and they don't even know yet. That's the crazy part. Like they're at home, at work, whatever. They have no idea. And then we call, and then sometimes we have to call multiple times, but <laughs> they're about to learn that they just want a new car. And in this case, $10,000 cash. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, I'm ready. I'm freaking ready. I'm ready. Don't work with your sunglasses on? It's very difficult. I would. It's difficult. When YouTube fails and I have to come here groveling for a job, <laughs> I'll be wearing the sunglasses at I my have desk. A desk for it. I know. I've been holding it for Beaver legit. There's a years, desk over there. It's empty. Years. And I'm ready. Reserved. <laughs> Reserved tables on it. Dude, I'm going to have to change my whole sleep schedule. Ready. Ready for Did the winner. Did you tell anybody where he lives? Uh, no, I didn't. So first time ever, California winner. Our first mm -hmm. one. Yep. West Coast. Luckily, this isn't the ZR1 because 
this car is fully compliant with emissions for California, the C5. Yeah, absolutely. The C6, you might have car. to put cats on it if you went in California. Yeah, this is a stock car. This is stock. Good to right, go. You ready to call Michael? I'm ready. His name is Michael? Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought it was like Pete. No, I Pete. I don't know what I'm talking about. Michael C5, what are... Please leave your message. Okay, that was instant hang up. <laughs> was it... <laughs> that was instant hang up or... Maybe his phone's off. Please leave your message. Instant hang up. Okay, we've never, this is kind of like super rushed, but we've never had that happen before where it went. It always rings. We've had yeah. it in a voicemail. That was either phones. Okay, he has a iPhone. It's, yeah, it went blue. blue. So that's either phones off or he's like hanging he up Might on. be at work. Might be at work. Let me verify the number. Okay, well. I had it in there for First time for everything. Last Lambo winner went very, very smooth. They answered, the, answered on the second call. Um, we've only ever had one, believe it or not, out of 14 or 15 now, however many we've done, that we had to like call hours later. We've only had one. It says delivered. What'd you text him? I said, hi, Michael, it's Streets B717. <laughs> love it, love it. He's gonna think it's a scam. It said 2 p.m. Eastern time, maybe he thinks it's 2 p.m. his time. Could be. <laughs> Just it keep going. It could be a very boring video off. for you guys. Please leave your message. It's straight off. Dang. Well, uh. What do we do? I don't know. I guess I go home. <laughs> I don't know. What... Okay, I'll see ya. I'll see ya, I guess. Well, he's gonna call me back then. What if he calls me back when you're not here? I know, that's the thing. Do you want me to leave my GoPro? You just click the button. I know, I'll just film. I have. I mean, I can't sit here all day. I don't hey, care. I, I have nothing to do, but I, you're trying you to work. Yeah, that's true. I have nothing. To be clear, I can sit here all day. <laughs> it's a, you, but I don't want to be in your way. I have things to do. <laughs> I can't believe the answer. Yeah, we've never got, this has never, never happened. We did have a guy call back like an hour later, but I think yeah, we lost the shot. Yeah, that was one of the, the early, early yeah. ones. Um, Usually everyone's like hyped. They're pretty ready. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I have his email. Let me, why don't I try to email him? Send him an email? Phone. Maybe you did. Well, sorry guys. I don't know what, uh, I don't, we'll figure it out, obviously. I mean, and we, and a lot of people, this is a good time to talk about this. A lot of people say, hey, if I don't answer or if I have a new number, like we try to reach you for a long time. Like you are you would have to pretty much try to ignore us for like two weeks. We're not just gonna pick the next winner. Yeah, we're we not do, gonna... yeah we have runners up, like in case, you know, something happens, we always have more than one winner. Um, but, you know, we'll try for at least two weeks. What do we do? What do we do? I don't know, we've never been a, this far. We've never had this happen. This has never happened. I mean, that's a pretty good record though. This has never happened out of 15, 14, say, 15 calls. 14 callers? Yeah, I, I don't really know what to say on camera. I don't know. I, know. <laughs> I don't stuck, know what to say. Right now. Um, yeah, we've never had it instant voicemail all three times. Either they don't answer the first two or three calls and they're like, who keeps calling yeah. me? Yeah. It's gone straight to voicemail. Got all the fun stuff taken care of. And one more fun thing before I get into the bad news, you can see I have 44 inch mud boggers over there for the blazer. And when I say, I mean, it looks pretty big now on the 38 by 1450s. These are 44 <laughs> inch boggers. And uh, yes, it was uh, pretty difficult for me to lift this one up here, these two, but I got it done because I'm not that old yet, but they're freaking, en they're enormous. They are enormous. Um, it's gonna look like a little monster truck. It's not, jeez, it's not, uh, it doesn't really do it justice sitting here, but when you see it like standing next, like the tires are literally like this high. It's freaking crazy. But anyway, um, we gotta get into the bad news here. As I'm, as you might've seen, if you follow Bobby's channel, uh, RF Racing, which a little backstory on Bobby, he and I have been best friends for 12 years. You know, my best friend, somebody that I've spent, you know, a lot of my adult life with. And uh, yes, Gina is his sister. So I did commit the cardinal sin of hitting on your friend's sister, which you're not supposed to do. Uh, but now it worked out because we're going to get married and everything. So it's it's great. And I blame him anyway, because he kind of like introduced us. So it's his fault. But um, so obviously we're very close, very close. And, um, you know, I sold him my Duramax when I was looking to sell it. And that truck and I have a lot of history. That truck was really, I would credit with starting my channel in a big way. That's when really, you know, and other vehicles did well, like the Hellcat and everything, but that truck really was the staple of the channel. 
and something that people kept coming back to see. I have more million plus view videos with that truck than any other vehicle on the channel. I think I have like 10 or 11 videos with over a million views with the, the OG Dirty Max. And, um, you know, if you've been with the channel for a long time, it wasn't always like this. You know, it wasn't always like new high country, C8, Lamborghinis, this and that and the other thing. Like, it was very different. I grew up, you know, normal, lower, really lower middle class, maybe not even middle class. And when I bought this truck, that was my first big, big purchase. Uh, 25 grand, you know, I was like 20, 21 years old. And, um, you know, that was huge. I had always had gas Chevys and I wanted a Duramax my whole life and I finally got one and this was the dream truck and it was a huge, like I said, a huge part of the channel and it was an awesome build. I mean, look at these old clips of me. I apologize for the horrible wind noise. The wind is blowing and it's like 10 degrees outside but I was too excited not to make a video because you can probably tell from the idol, I bought a Duramax. <laughs> So hopefully everyone's excited about this, as excited as I am. Honestly, it, the result is amazing. I can't believe how good it looks. And going down the road, just driving it for a little bit here, it rides way smoother than stock. And just the steering and everything, like you would never know that this is a lifted truck. Real quick, between the, uh, the little tinted protector thing right. and the smell, I can barely tell you how much it's yeah. <laughs> That's so graceful. Thanks. <laughs> proud it really was and still am of what the truck represents but you know I'm getting older we're talking about having a family having kids we take these long trips to the beach and it just wasn't practical anymore so the and the new trucks are amazing I can't lie I still always have love for something like this and it sounds ridiculous <laughs> The new trucks are just great and I had to get a new truck and I don't have a ton of space here. So, and when I got my 2020, that truck, I didn't drive it for like two months. And finally I said to myself, you know, why am I letting it sit here, go to waste? I might as well sell it. But I wasn't really ready to actually like say goodbye yet. So I offered it to Bobby who had wanted it for a while. And I said, hey, if you want to still buy this, you can have it. And he was like, sure, you know, and I made him a good deal on it. And he took it and he made some videos with it. And it was his daily for the past uh, six months. And then unfortunately we had something very bad happen and Bobby was not driving. So, you know, don't give him a hard time. And if you find out who was, don't give him a hard time either. This is a person that we both trust. This is a person who works for us, who uh, drives my vehicles too. And it can happen. And you're gonna see the dash cam footage. It wasn't anything, you know, he wasn't doing anything wrong. Just maybe not so experienced with this truck. You know, um, these big mud tire, big mud tires are not good in the rain. They might look like it, but they're not. You got no weight on the bed. You got a truck with a big turbo, a lot of torque that comes on right away. So I'm used to it. You know, Bobby's used to it, but this person might not be used to the way a truck like this drives. And the important thing is nobody was hurt, um, but the truck definitely is pretty hurt. So here is the footage. Seriously, thank God that little hill was there because had it not been, uh, we could be talking about uh, you know somebody who would be very hurt or maybe worse. Uh, and the the audio, a lot of it was muted because the person had music playing, and I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, so the music was playing, and that's why there there might be some audio cut out of the the video. But you can see it's a pretty wild impact. And you're talking about a truck that weighs quite a bit landing on its side. It was a hard hard landing. And I didn't see the video, so I went to go pick, this person called me and I went to go pick him up and uh, I drove this truck home. He was all like shaken and rattled and I, you know, I didn't see the video yet. So all I saw was the truck on the side of the road and I was like, oh, it's not bad. It's on the side of the road. You know, it looks like it, it's sitting upright. It's gonna run and drive. I drove it home on the highway and I was wondering, I was like, man, it feels really like screwed up and wobbly. Like I wonder what's wrong with it. He just went off the road. Then after I saw the video, I would have never tried to drive it home uh, because I'm sure things are very broken and very bent, but the damage on the truck is substantial. I immediately said, hey, Bobby, you know, this truck is, is no good. Bobby didn't even see, Bobby was at work, so he didn't even see it yet. And um, 
you know, I said, the truck's pretty bad. Like, let, let me buy it back from you. He needs a vehicle. He's not like me. You know, I have, I have a ton of different vehicles to drive. He needs a daily. Like, he needs one. So I said, hey, you know, let me buy it back from you. Same price. You know, we'll call it even. Who cares? I can make money on making videos of it and rebuilding it. Um, and then you can get another truck. So look for that on his channel for sure. And if you're not subscribed, get him to 50K because the deal was I'm going to rebuild it when he hits 50K. And he's like pretty close. He's well over halfway there. So check out his channel and we'll do some really cool stuff with it. But I was like, I want to buy it back and, uh, you know, figure out what I'm doing here. But it was bad. The impact was bad. The tailgate flew off. That was about 20 yards from the truck. The tire fell out of the back. That was uh, about 50 yards from the truck. And the bedside, actually this bedside isn't too bad. It didn't land on this one, but the leaf spring is like crooked and shifted. And I think the rear axle might be shifted, but going down the road, it just drives really bad, like really bad. Um, th this fender you can see is a little closer here. It always had even, this, it was a pretty good, you know, it was a clean truck, well built, no accident. So that I notice is different. Even after all this time of not having it, I noticed, I noticed that's different. Uh, the hood is really jacked up, really jacked up. So I think when it landed, everything like buckled and it pushed the hood up. Um, so the hood, you can't even open it. Like it doesn't even, it doesn't even work. Headlights hanging out. Um, you know, pretty sad to see it like this, to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, this was my baby for a long time. Um, you know, just not good. And it, the truck is... I know the driveway is downhill, but the truck is leaning like really hard to this side. Uh, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Mechanically, it does run and drive. Engine seems fine. You can see the sway bar end link there is really bent. That's not a big deal. Um, some of the finish there came off of the frame, which makes me think that the frame buckled because it popped off, you know, that literally the, the paint popped off of it. See like a big scratch here and here, which again makes me feel like it's buckled. The upper control arm, you can see how that popped off there. Bedside here is pushed in, that snapped off. And again, it doesn't really, on video, I know it's not gonna seem like a lot, but from the little I know about accidents, you can have something like this not look like a lot and your frame, I mean, I believe right now the frame is bent. So it's gonna be, a, I mean, look at it. <laughs> it's gonna be a process, but I have the old truck back and we'll see how far we get with it. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it to Shane at PDW and he'll know right away, like, is it gonna be worth fixing if, if it's not? I think I still will, um, but maybe we put the engine and trans in this. That'd be kind of neat. Either way though, uh, it's a pretty wide, you know, I had to show you guys that video. I've never seen, I've never, well, I've never had an accident, but I've never had it on, dash cam so it was pretty cool to see the dash cam doing its job in there and that was a that was a sponsored video from like four years ago i got that dash cam and it works so there you go a shout out to the company vava was the company i'm sure a lot of you heard of it um but that's where we're at with the og duramax on that note i think i'll be spending quite a bit of money on the og so make sure you guys enter the zr1 giveaway because i'm gonna need every cent so you could win an awesome car and help out the build fund for that truck again we're doing 20 times entries black friday through cyber monday every five bucks spent gets you 20 entries to win and that will be the last entry multiplier before the giveaway ends on december 5th so you only have a little bit of time left and why not you know, get something now while the entries are worth 20 times what they, what they normally are. You could win this epic car and uh, help me out. So I guess that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this upload. Enter to win the ZR1. If you enjoyed, give it a big old thumbs up. Take care, have a great night guys. We'll see you in the next one.